Remember that mysterious wow signal astronomers have been wondering about for the past 40 years? Well, buckle up, because we have some interesting news about it. For those of you who may not know, the wow signal was a radio sound detected back in 1977 by an astronomer while working at the Big Ear Radio Telescope in Ohio. The signal was so unique and intense that the man scribbled wow in the margin of the data printout, and the name stuck ever since. But what made the wow signal so special? Well, for one thing, it was never detected again. Despite astronomers pointing their telescopes to that same region of space numerous times over the years, the signal never reappeared. It was like a cosmic one-hit wonder. Now for decades, scientists have been trying to decipher the mystery behind the WOW signal. Was it a message from an intelligent civilization living outside our planet? Or was it just some random cosmic noise? Years ago, one study claimed that the WOW signal was caused by a comet named 266P Christensen. It was passing through that same region of space back in 1977 and its hydrogen could have emitted a radio signal that just happened to be in the same frequency as the WOW signal. This information was soon dismissed by specialists, who claimed comets don't emit such radio waves. Another theory concerning the WOW signal was that it might have come from a sun-like star. This was based on the idea that the signal was indeed caused by a natural phenomenon, not by little green creatures wandering in space. This star is found in the constellation of Sagittarius at a distance of 1,800 light years. Now, this distance might sound like a long way, but in terms of the vastness of space, it's practically next door. It was promising because it had some interesting features too. It was very similar to our sun in terms of temperature, luminosity, and size. Sadly, after studying this sun twin star a bit more, scientists couldn't pinpoint the wow signal to it with complete certainty. There may be other stars in the same area that could have emitted the signal. We just don't know for sure. So what does this mean for the search for life outside our planet through the wow signal? Well, it means that we're back to square one for the most part. We still don't know what caused the wow signal and we don't know if it was caused by an intelligent civilization or a natural phenomenon. One of the ways that astronomers are searching for intelligent life in the universe is by looking for techno-signatures. These are signs of technology that we can detect from here on Earth, which could indicate advanced activity in space. They couldn't be explained by natural phenomena. Some examples of techno-signatures include laser emissions, radio signals, or signs of megastructures. Today's Outer Space playlist doesn't end with the WOW signal. Get ready to shake those hips and groove to the beat because we're about to discover black holes and the funky sounds they make. Now you may be wondering, do black holes make sounds? Well, it looks like they do, and it's like a cosmic symphony. First off, let's talk about what a black hole is. It's a spot in space where gravity is so strong that nothing, not even light, can escape its pull. Think of it as a cosmic vacuum cleaner that sucks up everything in its path. Even though black holes don't emit any light, they can still give off some serious vibes. Scientists have been studying these vibes, or sounds, for years, using special instruments to pick up on their cosmic tunes. So, what does a black hole sound like? Well, imagine a bass guitar mixed with the sound of a giant burp. Weird, I know. This sound from black holes comes from the gas and dust swirling around them. As the material gets sucked in, it heats up and emits x-rays, which can be detected by our instruments. These x-rays are like the notes in a song, and they can tell us a lot about what's going in and around the black hole. But here's the craziest part. Scientists have found that different black holes have their unique tunes. It's like they have their own cosmic DJ spinning tracks for the universe to groove to. After studying colliding black holes, scientists have figured out that some are super chill and mellow, while others are wild and crazy with beats that'll make your head spin. Who knows, maybe one day we'll figure out a way to tap into that cosmic beat and use it to power our spaceships. 
If we can turn sound waves into electricity here on Earth, who's to say we can't do the same thing in space? The mysterious bloop sound baffled scientists for ages too. Only this mm. one came from a completely different location, from deep within our Earth's waters. Picture this, you're chilling on your couch minding your own business, when suddenly you hear a loud, eerie noise coming from your speakers. Well, that's sort of what happened to a group of scientists back in 1997 when they stumbled upon the infamous bloop sound. Now, I know what you're thinking. Bloop? That's not very scary. But let me tell you, this sound was no joke. It was a deep, low-frequency noise that lasted for about a minute. And it was picked up by underwater microphones nearly 3,000 miles apart. Naturally, the scientists were like, what on earth is making this noise? Fast forward a few years and the internet is overwhelmed with theories about what could have caused the bloop. Some people thought it was a giant sea monster, while others speculated it was some sort of weird civilization spaceship lurking in the depths of the ocean. And of course, some believed it was just a glitch in the recording equipment. Despite all the speculation, the mystery of the bloop remained unsolved for years. But back in 2005, scientists finally revealed the true culprit behind the spooky sound. Turns out, it was just an iceberg. When icebergs break off from glaciers and float around the ocean, they can make some pretty weird noises. And the bloop was nothing more than the sound of an iceberg cracking and shifting around. Just because we know the cause of the bloop doesn't mean it's any less fascinating. In fact, it's pretty amazing that a sound like that could travel thousands of miles and still be audible. Plus, the fact that it took scientists years to figure out what caused it, it just goes to show how much we still have to learn about our planet. No playlist is complete without a sad, heartbreaking song. And speaking of that, have you heard of the loneliest whale in the world? It's a fascinating story that starts back in 1989 when American specialists were looking for submarines. Instead of submarines, though, they stumbled upon a whale that had a uniquely high-pitched voice, which earned it the title of the loneliest whale. Why is it called the loneliest whale? Well, most blue whales speak at frequencies between 10 and 40 hertz, but this whale's voice is at a frequency of 52 hertz, which is a low bass note to human ears. Since it has a different voice than other blue whales, some scientists believe that it was unable to communicate with other whales. It's also believed that this whale may be a hybrid whale with one parent from a different whale species. This could cause a different body shape and a different call, which could explain its unique voice. Recent research suggests that the loneliest whale may not be so lonely after all. Many peculiar whale calls have been detected and some studies suggest that groups of whales living in particular regions have distinct dialects of whale songs that often differ in frequency. To add to the intrigue, later recordings have found that the loneliest whale is now changing its tune. The whale's call has been getting deeper for several years. Maybe it's not so lonely after all and has some whale friends to hang out with. That's it for today. So hey, if you pacified your curiosity, then give the video a like and share it with your friends. Or if you want more, just click on these videos and stay on the bright side.